Hello I'm Alexis Cruz in the WUFT newsroom for Thursday, October 27th. Here's your news in 90. Gainesville police are currently investigating a robbery that took place at the Wells Fargo in the Oaks Mall parking lot on Monday. Officials say the bank teller called the police and reported that a man gave him a note saying he was armed and then demanded money. Surveillance video from the bank shows the suspect entering the bank wearing a dark hat and a short sleeve striped shirt. Gainesville police say that this robbery is very similar to one that took place in the Wells Fargo on Archer Road last month. Two more people have been arrested in last month's Fatal Cloud 9 nightclub shooting in Ocala. Michael Smith and Gary King are each charged with one count of second-degree homicide and five counts of attempted second-degree homicide. Last month, deputies responded to the parking lot of the nightclub to find six people had been shot. 19-year-old Benetria Robinson was one killed, and one victim is still remaining in the hospital. Both men are now being held in the Marion County Jail without bond. The Santa Fe College Police Department has started a safety program on their campus, earning them a prestigious award. The Florida Crime Prevention Association has awarded the department the Crime Prevention Unit of the Year Award. Santa Fe Community College was the first of the 28 community colleges in Florida to add an on-campus police program. Innovation leads to awards when it comes to this year's annual report bronze winner. The Gainesville Community Redevelopment Agency teamed up with Sequential Artists Workshop to revamp their state-mandated annual report. Each comic in the report relates to an event in Gainesville. The GCRA broke their previous record by delivering about 31,000 copies of their annual reports locally. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.